Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Pine Outdoors. I just wanted to walk you guys through what goes into making a bag of these. I'm not going to show mixing the plastic and degassing it and the powder and all that stuff. What I start with is the plastisol. I use powder in my plastisol. I use an immersion blender and uh, I degas it and then I shoot it into this mold. A specific mold right here um, this is the stinger mold stinger tail this is the stinger tail mold and basically this is what happens here um, you know it goes down the runner here and then you're left with your tails so you just pull this out of the mold and you pull each of these off and uh, you save the you save the runner for another day. Um, sometimes I will melt down half virgin plastisol and I will melt down half uh, remelt and go ahead and reuse this and it'll go into some more baits. So, anyhow, that's the tail mold. That's where we start. <clears throat> then we have our main mold. <clears throat> which is this stack that I have here. I have a stack of five of them. But anyways, I'll try to do this best I can uh, in front of the camera here. I like to tilt it to the side. It makes it easier to load the tails. To do 200, to do 200 of these, it takes me about a... Uh, 45 minutes, I think, something like that to do. Each mold has 40. Um, and see, like this it actually has a little tilt to it going this way, and I like the tilt. If it has a little bit of a curl to it, I like it to go down uh, the way this one has sat in the box. It's got a little tilt to it, which is fine once it's on the bait and in the bag. The bag will straighten it out. That's what I do. So this here amounts to nothing more than degassing and I've got 12 ounces here. Uh, we're not going to use the, the big rig today, but we'll get to that in a video soon. Um, I have an, oh, sorry, my place is a mess. I have this 12 ounce injector and this actually fills all of five of those molds. So that's what we'll do. We're going to heat the plastic up. Uh, there's two options you can use you can get this uh, monkey milk from bait plastics uh, if you don't want to use your own formula uh, you can always use that that's an option uh, tall tails custom tackles is the one that I learned that one from and he's also got a video about making uh, making your own monkey milk which really amounts to nothing more than having you highlight blue you need that and then you need to have your pearl pearl powder or pearl pearl color um, that and then your black plate uh, if you want a rich blue add more of this less blue you know and you want to keep it kind of thin that, that's the way monkey milk is supposed to kind of look kind of thin but Anyhow, I've got my own recipe for it, so that's what I'm going to go with. So I'll go ahead and mix this up. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And uh, yeah, it's cool how those bubbles just collapse on themselves. Once you shake it. 
All right, so we'll be back. I'll heat this up and I will show you guys shooting it. Last clamp broke on me, so what we're gonna have to do is we'll just have to pour this up into this injector and do uh, the last, or do four of them and we'll use our clamps and we'll be good. I pour it into this end here, just hold it. Exactly all of that because this is a molds drink a lot of plastic now. Okay. Here we go. We find out. We got a good lamb in there. Okay, there we go. Man, that plastic is so hard, bro. do is we'll go ahead and leave these up and hang these up to dry. The thing you got to watch for on these is make sure that you had enough stuff. Make sure you had enough of your body color come up on that tail otherwise sometimes it'll pop off pretty easy but it looks pretty good to me. Like these come out good too. There you have it. Yep. There you have it on the monkey milk and the chartreuse, the pink head, off the bank. Fort Gibson. Come out here and catch your limit. <laughs> Come off now. Use a good sized one, whatever it was. Looky there, look at that, look at that crappie now. Tell me that ain't a crappie. That's a good one right there, huh? Well, we don't want to do that to him. All right, thank you, Lord. Right there, crappie.
What a crappie. There's some slab daddies in here, boy. I'm gonna have to go get me a stringer now. Look at them. Ow, 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 ow. Quit. I can't just keep leaving these crappie here. There's a bunch of them. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make me a stringer. Right here, right now. I guess. I ain't got no stringer. We're just gonna operate with what we got. And I think I got a big spool of this line here. 40 pound line. What we'll do is we'll bite it off. Stick this through his gill there, boy. Tie us a loop knot or a slip knot, and then we're gonna put another knot back there behind it. And that makes us a uh, makes us an arbor knot. It won't come off. We'll throw him over here, and then when we got others, we'll here what we'll do we'll just go ahead and do the same thing on this side make us a loop knot go here and we're gonna turn it into an arbor I said a loop again slip knot sorry forgive me and that arbor knot ain't gonna come undone it's a good knot so we're in the money now, boys. We're in the money. This dock is loaded with crappie. And they're all just up underneath here. Right there, see what? What a crappie, huh? there and there ain't no signs here it says nothing the only thing it says is notice boat loading is something and there's a no swimming sign that's it it's literally all that i see so i ain't gonna worry about it if they can't post something clear the only other sign on this dock is that uh the oklahoma fishing trail so Sometimes I do like fishing with a bait that's got the floating additive in it, like from Dead On Plastics. Uh, it float, falls a lot slower, and uh, you know you can use a little heavier weight and get a good cast, but it still falls because it it's that floating plastic. It works really good for that. Uh, only trouble is, is whenever you try to fish with it, when the fish hit it, they tear it up a lot easier, and so you might only get one or two crappie off that. Uh, but when you make them, it's, you know, not that big a deal. But remember, everything that we got here is available for purchase at fineoutdoors.myshopify.com. Here's an order that's going out right now. It's a hundred of each of those. Uh, and this will actually be an order that's going out tomorrow. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you've seen something that was interesting. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If there's a color that you'd like to see in these baits, comment that below. If you hated the video, comment it below. <laughs> Thank you guys. God bless.